there, Barbara Reagan with Long and Foster Realtors. Last week, I shared a video about the NAR settlement and how the upcoming changes in August will affect home buyers. So today, let's dive into how these changes will impact home sellers. If you've been following the news, you know there have been lawsuits about the commission sellers pay to the buyer agent. Some information suggests that home prices will drop or sellers will make more money because they no longer have to pay a buyer's agent commission. This has led many sellers to ask, do I still have to pay a commission to the buyer's agent? Well, the reality is you were never required to pay a commission to the buyer's agent. You were paying a commission, you negotiate it with your listing agent, who then shared it with the buyer's agent. Previously, MLS rules required offering at least a dollar to the buyer's agent. But starting in August, our MLS won't display the buyer agent's compensation. This means buyer agent will need to contact listing agents to find out what compensation, if any, they'll receive. So what happens if you decide not to offer a commission to the buyer's agent? Well, think about the buyers looking at your home. Many buyers can't afford to pay their agent's commission on top of all their other costs. They might have agreements that they've signed with their agents not to view homes where the seller isn't paying some or all of the commission. This could mean fewer buyers looking at your home, putting you at a competitive disadvantage. Why is this a disadvantage? Well, fewer showings mean fewer potential offers, which can lower your home's sales price. Without offering a commission, you risk losing out on buyers who have professional representation, which can help to ensure a smooth transaction. Unrepresented buyers might not understand the complexities of buying a home, potentially causing delays or lower offers. If the buyer is unrepresented, your listing agent might become a dual agent representing both you and the buyer. In Virginia, dual agency is allowed, but it means that the agent can't fully represent or advise either party. So they're acting more as a transaction coordinator. The settlement doesn't prevent you from offering a buyer agent's compensation. While it won't be shown in MLS, offering compensation can attract more buyers, especially those who can't pay their agent's commission. This can make your home stand out and ensure a smoother closing process with the buyer agent involved. Ultimately, it's up to you to decide whether to offer compensation. Weigh all your options and discuss them with your realtor to determine the best strategy for a successful sale and highest net profit. This is Barbara Reagan with Long & Foster Realtors. With the changes coming next month, now may be the time to talk to your realtor about how these changes will affect you. If you have questions and would like to sit down and talk, feel free to reach out.